Amen. Look at old Asher. He's ready. Amen. Gotta let him and go fish. Come on in, be with us. Amen. Uh, we we uh glad to be in God's house on this beautiful day. Amen. Got up this morning and it was forty some degrees outside. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I appreciate the Lord what He does. Amen. We can't control the weather, but He does. Amen. If He wants it to be 70 degrees one day and 18 at night, hey, let Him do it. Amen. It's Him. Amen. But we came to worship God this morning. Amen. Uh, really appreciate the Lord. Amen. We love Him. Amen. And we hope and pray. Amen. That God just has His way in the service today. Amen. Let's all stand. Let's ask God to have His way in the service. Amen. I just want to see God move this morning. Amen. Bless your heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come to you, we thank you, God, for this another beautiful day. Lord, that you have allowed us to have, God, to be able to come and to worship you. Heavenly Father, God, to lift you up, God, and to give you praise this morning. Uh, Heavenly Father, we just ask, God, that you would move in this place today. Uh, Heavenly Father, not our will, but thy will be done today. Uh, oh, God, we pray, God, that someone would be touched, someone would be blessed today. Uh, Heavenly Father, God, we ask, God, that you bless those on live stream this morning. I uh, uh, bless those, Heavenly Father, God, that's uh, uh, watching more than on um, big old live this morning. Uh, Heavenly Father, God, we pray for those that's not able to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Uh, I pray, God, that the... Uh, Spirit, God, we get a hold of them today as they watch my live stream. I, I pray, God, that they get a touch, Lord, a, a mighty touch this morning. I, Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless those that sing this morning. I, I bless the special singers today. I, God, I pray you anoint them, use them this morning. I, Lord, but most of all, Lord, let your Holy Ghost fall upon this place. I, let the anointing fall, Lord. Let the conviction power I, God, fall upon it this morning. I, Heavenly Father, God, we just give you praise this morning. Thank you for waking us all up today. Uh, allow us to be back in your house, God, and to give you praise. Lord God, we just thank you for everything you mean to us. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Page eight, I feel like traveling on.
God. It's good being God's house this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel God's presence already. I'm looking for a good time, Brother Michael. Amen. And Lord, glad to have this brother with us this morning. Amen. Give him a hand this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll tell you what, I asked the Lord this morning as I was studying. I said, Lord, send somebody in that we haven't seen. Amen. God answered prayer. Amen. Amen. Brother Moore's glad to see Brother Moore's here. Amen. He went to the doctor. Amen. They run tests on him. Amen. He thought they were done. They said, wait a minute. We got nothing we want to do. Amen. And they run him in and they said, we're checking your brain out. We'd love to see if there's anything in there. <laughs> Amen. But they found nothing. <laughs> but a pee rolled around. <laughs> it's good to have fun in the house of the Lord. Amen. Laughter is like a medicine. Amen. We all needed to laugh this morning. Amen. Uh, we appreciate the Lord. Amen. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Amen. We got a lot to pray about. Amen. We need to pray for our assistant pastor's wife. Amen. She still, amen, uh, went to the doctor the other day. Amen. But she's still having some issues. Amen. It's a problem. Amen. So remember her. Amen. They told her not to be bending, not to be stooping or anything right now. Amen. So remember her in prayer. Amen. Uh, Remember Brother uh, Jackie Stamps and Sister Pat over at Scotsman. Amen. Uh, we touch them. Brother Roger Brown and Sister Starla. Amen. Uh, over there in Scotsman. Uh, Brown. Amen. That God would move up on them and bless their church also. Amen. Uh, remember uh, the McKinney family? Morris McKinney family. Amen. He passed away the other day. Amen. And uh, he was only people. Amen. And he left this world. Amen. And uh, remember his family. Amen. Remember his sister. Amen. Amen. In prayer. Amen. For this time. Amen. Also remember uh, Jennifer Hope's husband. Amen. She's asked for prayer for her husband. Amen. They uh, had to go in and put a stent in his kidney to get his kidneys moving better. Amen. But he's still in pretty bad shape. Amen. So. I actually remember that. There was some other ones asking. There's some others asking. I can't remember their names. Did you, you write them down? Amen. Uh, but we got a lot to pray about this morning. Amen. Remember Sister Norm? Amen. She leaned over to grab, get something beside of her chair yesterday. And she pulled where she had the surgery, where she had the cancer at. And it's really bothering her real bad. Amen. But uh, it's making her sick at her stomach. So uh, pray for her, amen, that she just strained it, amen, that God would touch her this morning. Remember Sister Darlene this morning, amen, she's still having some issues, amen, with her stomach, amen, so as you remember her. What? Amen, let's, let's remember that, amen. Somebody else got a prayer request. Somebody else. Remember that. 
down, amen, and they all back went back together, amen, and got to see his grandbaby, amen, he spent his time with his grandbaby. God can work things out, but we can't, amen. Somebody else this morning. Yeah, well, Christine would be glad to be here. Carly Joe. That'd be hard for me to get you to. <laughs> Amen. Somebody else. Remember that this morning. Also remember Brother David Sloan, brother. We call him Papa Sloan down in Mississippi. Amen. He's really going through some things right now. The doctors, the doctors told him he had pleurisy, and he don't want to lay down. He does not want to lay down. He don't want to sleep. And he's sitting up with his legs hanging down. And he's seventy now. And uh, he, 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 where he sets up, his legs is really swollen. Real bad. Amen. So remember Brother Sloan. Amen. Brother David Sloan in your prayers. Remember Sister Joan. Amen. That God will continue touching him. And, and uh, you know how, how some of them are, they're stubborn. Amen. They don't, he, he said he knows if he lays down, he don't think he'll, work, he'll get back up, Sister Bonnie. Amen. Because you've heard all these people that die from the COVID. Amen. Because they can't breathe and they, and they lay, they, they don't wake up. I believe that's what's going through his mind. Amen. Uh, but when you've got pleurisy, amen, it messes with your breathing. Amen. It, it makes you feel like you're having a heart attack. I'll just tell you. Amen. I've had it, and I know, amen, what it feels like, Brother Morris. Amen. But remember them in prayer, especially remember Brother Dave, amen, in prayer. Anybody else before we pray this morning? Remember this service? May God have his way. Pray for those that sing this morning. Amen, and we ask, amen, that you just get in and let God have his way this morning. Unspoken quest by the raising of your hand, pray at your seat or pray at the altar.
her birthday. Amen. We're going to sing happy birthday to Sister Lisa. <laughs> Walking in my footsteps, I heard a little voice asking things I didn't know. Reach 
step for direction. If she's gonna follow me, I need to know just where I'll go.
we'll sing this one for Noah's song. A country where no twilight shadow deepens. Unending days when night will never
get into it now, amen, because if I won't get much sleep, but I'll study. Amen. But I begin to study this morning God's Word, Sister Bonnie. And when you study God's Word, man, I'll tell you what, it'll, it'll set you on fire. Amen. I went in there and I got me a shower. Amen. After I wore Snore's clothes. Amen. I went in there, Sister Misty, and I got me a shower. And while I was in the shower, I began to pray. Amen. And I began to pray for Jennifer Hogue's husband. Amen. I don't know him, but I know God does. Amen. And I began to pray for him. Amen. I began to pray for uh, Patsy. Amen. That lost her brother. Amen. And uh, I thought, Lord God, I said, I want to be a help to someone. Amen. Because there's a lot of lost and dying people out here in this world. Amen. Dying every day. Every day they're dying, Brother Michael. Dying. I'm talking, you don't have an opportunity, amen, death's going to knock, amen, and when death knocks, amen, it's over, I'm just going to tell you, it's over. Amen, it, it's over, Brother Michael, but I was thinking about, amen, that all these that's died just here lately, amen, that I know, Sister Bonnie, and how death came. Sister Teresa, they knocked on the door, amen, and, and, and their life was gone. And, and how many that I don't understand it, that didn't know the Lord, because I don't know, amen. But I know some of them, amen, didn't. And I know some of them, amen, that, that's went all through their life thinking, amen, that they are saved. Uh, and they drink, they cuss, amen, they do all these unfilthy things. And they think when they die, they're going to heaven. And I was thinking, Lord, how can this be? Hallelujah. And it can't. Amen, it can't. Amen, God God ain't going to allow it. Amen, as I begin to study this morning, and I, I begin to talk to the Lord, and the Holy Ghost came down, uh, Sister Misty upon me there in the shower, and I, I begin to feel the presence of the Lord as I begin to pray, amen, for the people in the church. And I begin to pray for Sister Darlene and Brother Morris, amen, and I begin to pray. Amen, that God would come in and, and God would touch their bodies. Uh, amen, because, amen, I don't want to see nobody uh, lost. I begin to pray for Papa Sloan. Amen. Uh, I begin to pray for his legs. Amen, because, uh, amen, there's no distance in prayer. Uh, amen, the God that I serve can go uh, to Mississippi. Uh, amen, right there and touch Brother Sloan. Uh, amen, but I thank God this morning. Uh, amen, that God gave me a message. Amen. For the church and for the world. Amen. And for the lost souls. Amen. You got your Bibles? Amen. Turn with me to Romans. Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13. I got a, a lot of scriptures. Amen. I'm going to read. Amen. But I want you to listen to them. Amen. I'm on. Start beginning at verse number 10. In Romans chapter 13 and verse 10. Love worketh no evil to his neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake up, to wake up sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the days, not in rioting and drunkenness, nor in chambering, nor in wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, to fulfill the lust thereof. Listen to verse number 13. Let us walk honestly as in the days not in writing. That means uh, out here causing a big commotion. Amen. Out here writing on the streets like you see every day, Brother Morris. Amen. You see it, uh, uh, all this stuff going on. Amen. And it says here, it says, in drunkenness. Oh, we see a lot of that. Amen. In the churches. 
Amen. We see a lot of churches say it's okay to drink. Amen. It's all right, but what did the Bible say? Amen. He said, uh, not in drunkenness, not in chambering, not in wantonness. Amen. There's a lot of people who wants this, I want that. I want this, I want that. Uh, amen. But you need to be worried about, I want God more than I want this. Uh, amen. God said they're in the business of wanting, uh, not strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Blessed Heavenly Father, Lord God, as I come to you, I thank you, Lord God, once again, Lord, to be able to come and to stand, Lord, to be able to come and to raise up my hands to worship you. I came today, Lord, to preach the gospel. I came today to preach the good news to someone today. Lord, to let them know, God, they need to awake out of their sleep. Heavenly Father, God, I pray, God, that you would move upon us. Lord, anoint us that we'll be able to say what thus saith the word of the Lord. God, if we've done anything wrong, said anything wrong, or done anything displeasing unto you, or if we sinned against you in any way, we ask you to forgive us. We don't want nothing, God, to hinder us from bringing this bread of life forth this morning. God, we pray that you hide us behind the shadow of the cross. That the world won't see us, God, but they'll see you today. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory and honor. The church say amen. amen. I want to preach just a little while. Wake up out of your sleep. Wake up out of your sleep. Well, Brother Miller, what are you talking about? Well, God told me, uh, amen, as I was praying uh, and I was studying. Uh, amen, people are asleep uh, and they don't realize they're asleep, Sister Teresa. Amen, because they think because they got saved many years ago. Amen, they're ready to go to heaven. Uh, amen, but God said, I got a pencil. Amen, it's got an eraser on it that nobody can erase that name out of that land's book of life but me. Uh, amen, and I can erase that blood out of there. Uh, Amen. But he said it's time that you wake up and realize, amen, that Jesus is coming and he's coming soon. He's coming, amen. That the church better wake up and realize, church people better wake up and realize, amen, that Jesus is coming. I'm telling you, look at the signs of the time. Amen. There's trouble and perplexity on every hand. Amen. The church, he said, I'm coming. Amen. Oh, Brother Miller, I don't believe he's coming yet. Wake up. Wake up. You've been rocked to sleep. Amen, the government's rocked you to sleep. Amen, the devil's rocked you to sleep. Pastors has rocked you to sleep. You better wake up. Judgment's coming. Judgment day is coming. Oh, Brother Miller, I don't have to. I don't have to wake up. I don't have to go, amen, to the house of God to serve God. Wrong. The Bible said, fail not to assemble yourself together, praying one for another. As you see, what the day that's approaching, what day's coming, Sister Bonnie, judgment. Amen. You better be in the house of God. Amen. You better be praying. You better be weeping. And you better be praying for God to come quickly. He said, if a watchman in Luke chapter 12 Amen. Verse 39, he said, if a watchman had been uh, watching his house, he would have known when the thief would have come and to break into the house. But no, the watchman was asleep. Amen. He was asleep, Sister Bonnie. Amen. And Jesus said he won't even know when the Son of Man comes. Amen, because they'll still be asleep, Sister Teresa. People is sleeping and slumbering in the house of God. They can't stay awake in the house of God. Amen, and this is a place, amen, we only come and stay for maybe one, two, three hours at most. Amen, but they can watch football games for four hours. Amen, they can go to the music hall. Amen, and dance for four or five hours. Amen, turn the beer bottles up and drink, amen, for five or six hours. Uh, amen. They can go, amen, to the dance hall and dance, uh, amen, all night long. Uh, amen. When they come into the house, they got they set like a bunch of dead lights. Uh, amen. They don't want to get up and move. 
lose. They don't want to get up and praise God. I come this morning to tell you, they got to wake up. Amen. Amen. He said, tell them to wake up. My son's coming and he's coming soon. Sooner than we think. Amen. You look at the signs of the times. Amen. Poor Campbell soldiers were called out. Amen. They were loaded up, Sister Bonnie. And amen. They were blown out. Amen. I'm telling you, Queen Elizabeth. Amen. It's got the COVID and she's going to die, they said. Amen. Church, you better wake up. God said he would not have no other gods before him. No kings, no queens. Amen. No princess. Amen. Shall not. Amen. He said also over there in Psalms, hey, I'm Proverbs, amen. It's time to wake up, church. Hallelujah. You've slept long enough. Hey, man, you better wake your family up, and you better tell them hell is knocking at their door. I don't care if they mad at you. I don't care if they get mad at you. You better say hell is knocking at your door. You better wake up. Because death is going through the land. Death is going through the land. Sister Teresa, death is knocking on it. Don't matter whose door it's knocking on, it's knocking. I don't care if you're 12 years old. I don't care if you're 13 years old. A little nine year old boy. Amen. Cause of bullying. Amen. Killed himself. Amen. Because of bullying. No, it's that demon spirit. It's that whole, Amen. It's that. Amen. That old demon spirit of, of suicide that gets on. Amen. It's the music that they listen to. Why don't you just go ahead and commit suicide? You'd be better off. Amen. Let me tell you something. You better wake your children up. Amen. You better wake them up and make them. Realize, amen. This world is fixing to wipe out. He said, Wake them up. Wake them up. Wake them up, church. Hallelujah. Go with me to Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. Amen. Chapter 15. Amen. In verse number 34. Amen. Awake. To the righteous and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this mm, to your shame. Awake to righteousness and sin not. The Bible said we all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. A L L. He didn't leave nobody out. Amen. The righteous, he said, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? Uh, amen. What was he talking about? Uh, amen. He was talking about those that says, I've been born again. Uh, amen. He was talking about those that says, I'm righteous. Uh, he said, if the righteous scarcely be saved, uh, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear? Uh, amen. I'm telling you, church, uh, you better wake up uh, and realize, amen, that God uh, is trying to tell the world, uh, amen, my son's coming and he's coming soon. Amen. The time is running out. The clock is slowly ticking. Amen. When it ticks your time, you're going to die. Amen. We all are like a clock. Amen. Our heart's like a clock. You say, what are you talking about, Brother Miller? Your heart is like a clock. Amen. And it's got a certain time that it's going to stop ticking. Amen. You remember them old watches you used to wind them up? Amen. And they only tick so long. Amen. You had to read Wind them. Amen. That ain't the way your heart is. Amen. When it's your time to go, that heart's going to tick no more. Amen. And time's going to be over. It might be, amen, at 2 o'clock this evening and your clock could stop. Amen. It could be, amen, at 3 o'clock this evening and your clock can stop. Somebody's clock's going to stop today. Amen. Somebody's clock, amen, is going to stop. Right. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, and sin not. Amen. But some men will say, how are the dead risen up? And with what body do they come? Oh, thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. The Bible said, what you sow, that shall you also reap. Amen. If you 
you sow corruption, you're going to reap corruption. Uh, amen. If you sow good, you're going to reap good. Uh, amen. But there's a lot of people, amen, sowing, uh, sowing, amen, on the wrong ground. Uh, amen. They're sowing, uh, amen, the wrong stuff. Uh, and they're going to reap what they sow. Uh, amen. My mom always told me, uh, amen. She said, son, uh, what you do to somebody, they're going to do it back to you. Uh, amen. If you go to somebody uh, and you call them a name, they're going to call you back a name. Amen. Because you cannot do evil and not get evil back. Amen. Unless it's a good God, Holy Ghost filled person. Amen. And they'll say I thank you. I love you anyway. Amen. But I'm here to tell you church, you better wake up. Wake up and realize Jesus is coming. He said thou fool that which thou sowest it's not quickened except it die. Oh, Lord. Go to Ephesians. Ephesians 5 and 14. Ephesians 5 and 14. Amen. Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee life. Oh, yes, Sister Teresa. Amen. As he began to give me that verse. Amen. He said, tell them to wake out of their sleepness. Amen, church. We got to wake up. I'm talking about myself. I got it this morning. Amen. He said, awake out of your sleepness. Amen. Don't sleep. Don't slumber. Amen. Because Jesus is coming. Amen. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise the dead. Oh, yeah. Amen. Some of y'all done went to sleep so much. Amen. I'm talking church world in general. Amen. They done went to sleep so much, they're dead. Amen. They done went to sleep, Sister Missy, they're so dead. Amen. If Christ would come in, they wouldn't even recognize who he was. If the Spirit of God started to move, Sister Buddy, they wouldn't know what he was. It would scare them to death. Amen. But God said to awake. Amen. Out of your sleep. Amen. The cost of spirit will move you. Amen. Hallelujah. And Christ shall give you what? Be light. If you wake up, wake up and realize, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Go to First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Thessalonians 5 and 6. Hallelujah. He said, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us what? Watch and be what? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Josh, you know what that means? That means that you don't tell people it's all right to drink. <laughs> because when you drink, you don't wake up sober. <laughs> When you drink, hey, offer up your I just drink for a little bit. I just drink enough to just to pass the day by. I don't care if you drink every day just to pass the day by. You're an alcoholic. Hey, man, I don't care who you are. Hey, man, you might drink one beer a day. Hey, man, but that one beer a day, hey, man, will cause you to be an alcoholic. But wait, church. You've slept long enough. Because you're going to be asleep when the Son of Man comes. Oh, Brother Miller, I don't believe that. We'll read Matthew chapter 25. The Bible said they were five wise and five foolish virgins. Every one of them were virgins. They were pure. They were righteous. They were holy. Ah, oh, but the devil came along to the foolish and he began to rock them by. Sister Bonnie, and they begin to sleep and slumber. Just like the church is being rocked. The church world is being rocked every day. Oh, they're bringing the rock and roll music into the church. 
to bring in the fog machines, to bring in the flashing lights, uh, amen, to bring in the things of the rock and roll, roll world into the church of God, uh, amen, to bring in the bars in the church of God, to bring in the uh, bagel bars in, to bring in the donut bars, uh, amen, to bring in the latte bars, to bring in the coffee bars, uh, amen, into the house of God, uh, get you a latte and come in and sit down and let's praise God. Amen. Get you a cup of Folgers coffee. Amen. Amen. Get you some Folgers. Amen. Come in and sit down and eat you one of them jelly filled donuts. Amen. Come in. Amen. And get you a good old latte. A mocha latte. Amen. And come in and get you one of them bagels. One of them blueberry bagels and put you some of that good old cream cheese on it. Amen. Sit into the house of God. Amen. Come on in. Uh, amen. The devil's rocking a lot of I sleep. Uh, amen. Just come on in. Uh, amen. Sit down and bring your blood water and we'll have good old time. Uh, come on in. Amen. To the house of the Lord. Uh, amen. And bring your Jack Daniels in. We'll have a good old time. Uh, amen. Come on in to the house of the Lord. I don't care how you dress, how you look. Amen. Just come on in. We'll have a good time. Uh, amen. I'm here to tell you. Uh, amen. To Jesus that I serve. Uh, amen. He won't let you live that way. Amen. He said, be ye holy for I am holy. Amen. There's a change. Amen. Oh, Lord. Sister Bonnie, but the devil's going, I got my babies in my hands. I'm rocking these little churches to sleep. I can't get them ones that's on fire. I can't get them to give in. No, no, no. But I can get them ones that Jesus is slipping to. All you say, Brother Miller, you've gone too far this morning. Uh -uh. I ain't done yet. Amen. The devil will lock, lock you to sleep. Amen. He'll come to you at night. And he'll say, let me sing you a lot of my songs. Oh, no, no, no. He won't do that. Oh, yes, he will. Uh-huh. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. aye, aye, aye. Hallelujah. He said in verse 14, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Comfort the feeble mind, support the weak. Be patient towards all men. Amen. Be patient towards all men. Amen. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ev never, but ev but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Oh, Lord, right there. All you have to to make you wake up right there. Amen. In everything, give thanks for it. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Oh, here we go. Here's how you know people are asleep in the church. Amen. The Holy Ghost wants to move and it says quench not the spirit. And a lot of times when the Lord begins to move, somebody wants to quench the spirit. Amen. Somebody wants to do something to cause the spirit to not move. Amen. Why? Because the devil is lying about them. Amen. He's rocking them to sleep. Amen. And they think, well, if I'm going to sleep, nobody else ain't going to feel the spirit. What are they? Amen. He said, quench not the spirit. Despise not profanity. Prophesying. Or prophesying. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is what? Good. Good. Sustain. Sustain from all appearance of evil. And the way, the very good God of peace. Sanctify you holy. holy. Well, with holy. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that called you who also will do it. Brother, pray for us. Greet all brothers for the holy kiss. Charge you by the Lord. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Go now with me. Amen to Isaiah. Isaiah. 
chapter 52 and verse 1. Isaiah 52 and verse 1. He said, Awake, awake. See, he said it twice, Sister Teresa. He said, Awake, awake. Put on strength. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garment, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise, and let and set down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the pans of thy neck, O captive, daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourself for an altar, and ye shall be rendered without money, redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, my people went down for a time unto Egypt to sojourn there and, a, and the Assyrians oppressed them without a cause. Awake! Awake! Thy strength! Put it on! Put on thy strength! What is that? It's a change of your garment. You will change what you used to be. You're no longer the same. The devil does no longer have captivity over you when you become a child of God. And when you wake up out of your sleep. Well, Brother Miller, it ain't all about what you wear. It ain't all about no. It ain't. It's a working process. It's a working process. Amen. You ain't going to change completely overnight. God knows that. There's a song that says he's still working on me to make me what he wants me to be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth, Jupiter and Mars. How impatient he must be. Love and patience he must be. Sister Teresa, because he's still working on you. Everyone in here, he's still working on you. It's a working process. But as long as you let that conviction get a hold of your heart, that's the key is let conviction get a hold of your heart. He said, awake. Tell them. Wake up out of your sleep. Amen. Five and verse nine in the same chapter. Break forth into joy. Sing together. E waste place of Jerusalem. For the Lord has com comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has made bear his holy arm in his eye of all the nations in all the ends of the earth shall see salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence. Touch not no unclean thing. Go ye out in the midst of her and be ye clean. Mm -hmm. Of the midst of her and be ye clean. That beareth the, the, the vessels of the Lord. Oh, my, my, my. My, my, my. Amen. Go with me. Amen. Isaiah. 51 and 9. Isaiah 51 and 9. He says, awake, awake. Put on strength. O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days and in the generation of old. Art thou not it that has cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Oh, my, my, my. Church, we better wake up. We better wake up. Amen. Go with me to Revelation. Revelation. Amen. Revelation. Chapter 3. And verse number 2. Be watchful. 
things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy work perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou have received and heard and hold fast and repent it. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come upon thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Mark, Luke, Matthew said if the watchman had known the hour that the thief would have come. In other words, he would have been awake. He would have been watching. And Jesus said there in Revelation, he said, I'll come. You know, amen, that the Bible said it's appointed unto man wants to die. And after death is the judgment. He's talking about your sinful life. When a sinful man dies out, the old man dies out, Brother Michael, the new man comes in. Amen, that righteous man comes in. That holy man comes in. Amen, and then you're going to be judged. Amen. You're going to be judged for the good, the bad. You're going to be judged. Amen for your works. Thank you, Jesus. You say, well, Brother Miller, what's Jesus saying here? Well, Jesus said right here, he said, be watchful. In other words, he said, watch. Did you know he said, amen, if you don't watch, you won't know when he's coming. Did you know he said that, Brother Michael, that they ain't even watching. People's not watching for his coming. They're busy, he said, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the coming of the Son of Man. He said that what? They'll be marrying, giving in marriage. They'll be doing this, they'll be doing that. Too busy, too busy, too busy, and not wanting to watch for him to come. Amen, but he said, be watchful. In other words, he said, you better watch. You better wake up and realize you better watch. Because I'm fixing to come. Listen, he said, and strengthen. You've got to strengthen yourself. Oh, I can do that at home. No, you can't. You can pray your prayer because all you want to. Amen, but where do you get your strength? You draw it from your brothers and your sisters. Come on. We draw from one another. Right. Amen. Some were a little weak. The Bible said that the strong bear the what? The firmity of the weak. I understand some people get weak. I get weak sometimes. But I try not to let nobody know that I'm weak. Amen. I try not to let nobody know, Sister Bonnie, that I'm weak sometimes. That the, 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 I can't feel the Lord. You ever been that way? That you don't feel the Lord, and, and I don't want to make people think that I look bad. Because a pastor's job, amen, is to preach. A pastor's job, amen, is to feed the sheep. Amen, to feed the flock. Amen, it's not to let them see how down he is. Amen, it's not to let them see how weak he's got. Amen, he comes and he does what he has to do. He said, watch. Be watchful. And strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect. Ooh, that's Jesus speaking. I have not found the works of the church. I've not found the church world. 
Amen. Their works has got wrong. Amen. They're not working right. Amen. They're coming in and they're filling their pews every day, but they're not doing the work of God. Amen. Jesus is kind of aggravated. Amen. Because the churches are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Come on now. I'm just preaching what the Word says. Before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. How many repent? I repent daily. Paul had to. We had to. Amen. Why, Brother Miller? I ain't done nothing wrong. It don't matter. You don't know what you might have done. You might have said something that you didn't mean to say. Amen. To somebody that went the wrong way. And they might have took it the wrong way. But you didn't mean it the wrong way, but they took it that way. The Bible said don't go to sleep. Don't let your wrath, don't let your wrath go, go down. Yeah, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. In other words, don't go to sleep without getting repentant. If therefore thou shalt not watch. Now this is what Jesus said. He said, awake up out of your sleep. The church world better wake up. I'm telling you. I'm talking about the church world in general. These secular churches. These big Colosseum churches. Brother Michael, they better wake up. They better get the coffee shops out of their church. They better get the donut shop. They better get the big screen TVs out and have a preacher stand behind the pulpit instead of one on the screen. Amen. Amen. They better get all that out of the way. Amen. And they better wake up and realize, hey, he's coming. Right. Am I going to be willing to go? Am I going to be ready? Well, brother, no, you're judging him. No, I'm not. The Bible said we're in this world, but we're not of this world. Neither do we do the things of this world. Neither do we associate with the things of this world. If you're a child of God, you're not supposed to associate with the things of this world. Amen. 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 Come on, you can go to McDonald's after service is over and get your cup of coffee. Amen. Or you can go get your frappe. We got them going in the house of God. Amen. And they get up and they'll sing and they'll dance and they'll boogie, 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 boogie. boogie. All the way, amen, singing songs. And they'll, and they'll turn around and get their frat late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was Holy Ghost in that frat late. I got another boost. No, you just got a shot of caffeine. If it wasn't the Holy Ghost, wake up. Yeah, but now you're crazy. Yeah, I am. She said, I'd be peculiar. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, well. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you go down to Myanmar. Amen, Brother Morris. They got this thing in a little, like you put them creamers in your coffee. Amen, they got one that said extra boost of caffeine. Or extra, extra boost. A caffeine. Yeah, and you're bouncing off the wall. Uh, amen. You got them in the house of God drinking mustard drinks. Uh, I've seen them. Amen. I've seen them drinking Mountain Dews in the church. Uh, amen. I've seen them eating candy bars. Uh, amen. I've seen them eating cookies and crackers. Uh, amen. In the house of God grown up. Suckers. Yes. He said, come on now. Hallelujah. He said, remember, therefore, thou, how thou hast received and heard and held fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will what? Come upon thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Oh, my. He said, Thou has a few names, even in Sardis, which has not defiled their garment. And they shall walk with me in white, and they are worthy. Oh, I'm so glad. Amen. And I'm going to let 
let that garbage come into this house. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody said, Brother Bill, why don't you put a coffee shop in the new uh, uh, promise that's coming? I'm saying, let me tell you something. You want to go to a coffee shop? Go on there by uh, Ollie's and go to that church. <laughs> Amen. Go up here. Amen. Up here across from the little taste of Texas. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. There's not going to be no donuts in the house of God. There's not going to be no lattes. There's not going to be no bagels. Amen. Because we got to wake up and realize Jesus is coming. Shall 
Numbers chapter 23. Amen. In verse number 35. He said, They have stricken me. Shall thou say, And I was not stricken. Sick. They have stricken me. Stricken me. Shall thou say, And I have not and I am not sick. They have beaten me, and I fail it not. When shall I wake? I will seek thee yet again. I will seek thee yet again. Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6. Amen. In verse 9. How long wilt thou sleep? Or slumber. Oh, slow. <coughs> when wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folly, loading of the hand to sleep. Oh, Lord. So shall they probably come us one that travaileth. And thy wants as an armed man, a, a, a naughty, a naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a bored mouth. Listen. Oh, how long is the church going to sleep? How long? Brother Moore, that right there just got him. Yeah. But Brother Miller, it's okay if I drink. It's okay if I do this and it's okay if I do that. I got saved when I was seven years old. In my Sunday school class, my teacher prayed with me and I got saved. And Brother Miller, it's nothing wrong with me getting out of here and partying and drinking and having a good old time. My name got written in the last book of life when I was seven years old. Brother Miller, I've done 65, 66, 70 year old. Drunk all my life. But when I die, I'm going to be Morris, how the devil has rocked people to sleep, to believe, amen, that they can get saved at seven year old, amen, and drink every day, amen, hallelujah, he said, awake ye drunkards, and weep, and howl, all ye drinkers of my wife. Bark. 
marked by victory. He has made it clean. Where? He cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. I told you what the Lord said. Yeah, wow. 
pray they get the alcohol out of the church. Lord, I pray they get the flashing lights, the fog machine, the rock and roll music out of their sanctuaries. Lord, get you back to them. God, I thank you and I praise you. I love you. I glorify you. I honor you this morning. God, I thank you for the church that we got. I thank you for the people. Lord, you have blessed the sweet.
been a change in me. Amen. I appreciate the Lord this morning. Amen. I'm so glad to be able to amen, stand and preach what God gives me, Sister Mom. Amen. I, I'd be afraid not to preach what He gives me, Sister Teresa. Amen. But we got to wake up out of our sleep. Amen. If the church world don't wake up, I'm afraid we're going to be lost, Sister Lisa. I'm afraid that the ones that really think, Amen. Hey, I've got to live. I can live like the devil. I can live like the devil all through the week, but I can go to church on Sunday and I can shout. Amen. I can praise the Lord. I can sing in the choir and go home right after I get done singing in the choir and cuss like a devil. Amen. Because I done my job this morning. Amen. Or sleep. You say, how do you know that, Brother Miller? Because I know some people, amen, that sings in the choir, amen, and they'll out cuss the devil. Amen. Sister Bonnie, I know some that sing in the choir and they'll come home and smoke their pot. Amen. And think it's all right. They're asleep. Amen. You got some that'll come to the house of God and they'll shut the house down. Go home and sleep with their boyfriend or their girlfriend. Everything's all right. It's hunky dory. Lullabies the devil. Well, that'd be a good message, Sister Misty. Lullabies the devil will get people. A lot of them will sleep. Amen. Hallelujah. I just gave you a thought there, Sister Misty. Amen. Hallelujah. We appreciate everybody. Amen. We love the Lord. We love our live stream this morning. Big old live. I don't know how many watch this live. Big old live, but we appreciate you. Amen. We love live stream. We love Facebook live. We appreciate all of y'all. Amen. Uh, we appreciate you. We love you. You all think, man, that preacher is crazy. He's talking about getting jacked up on caffeine. And, man, get so high on caffeine and just take the shout. Amen. But hey, it's the truth. Amen. It's the truth. Amen. But let me tell you something. The Bible said to stir. He said right there, he said, stir up that which is in you. Amen. What? He's talking about that gift that he put inside of you. He said, stir it up. In other words, mix it up. Put some praise in there. Put some worship in there. Amen. Put a little joy in there. Put a little shout in there. Get it stirred up. Get them ingredients in there. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. But we appreciate our live stream audience. Please, please tune us back in tonight at 6 o'clock. Amen. Try to get on time. Amen. But we're Pentecostal. Amen. Sometimes we might be a little late because our live stream's not up right all, all at once. Amen. But we will try our best. Amen. To try. Amen. To come on at 6 a little after. Amen. But pray for us. Come be with us tonight. You ain't got church tonight. And I know a lot of churches ain't got church on Sunday night. Shame on the pastors if they won't let their members go somewhere and worship with somebody else. Shame on them. Amen. Because you can. Amen. You can. Amen. You sure can. Amen. But uh, if you ain't having church tonight, you want to come and worship with us tonight, come. I don't care if you're a Methodist. I don't care if you're Baptist. I don't care if you're Presbyterian. I don't care if you're Jesus only. I don't care, amen, if you're uh, Church of Christ. I don't care, amen, if you're Catholic. I don't care if you're uh, uh, once in grace, always in grace. Come and worship with us. Amen. amen. We just worship him to Jesus. Giving him glory. Right. Giving him honor. Amen. We're not trying to take nobody from nobody's church. Amen. We just want you to come and fellowship with us and worship with us. Try it. You ain't got a home church and you want a home church, come and try it. I guarantee you. We'll show you the love of God so many ways you'll want to stay with us. Amen. Brother Daniel will get you laughing. Brother Michael will get you laughing. Amen so much. Y'all think, man, they got some good old down-home country folk. Comedian. Amen. We got Ziggy, Skeeter, and Bodine. Amen. It comes here. Anybody knows who Skeeter and Bodine is? Amen. They're on Sister Misty's uh, live. Bodine's on Sister Misty's and Skeeter's on, uh, amen, uh, prime time. Amen. Sometimes.
Brother Michael. We ain't got a name for Brother Michael yet, but we got to get one up for him. <laughs> is he one that sleeps in the drawer? Sleep, or which one was sleepy? Uh, is that number seven? Sleep. Amen, but we appreciate you live stream. We love you. Please come and be with us tonight. It's 1499 Mercer Road, Glasgow, Kentucky. You can't miss it. You come out Main Street like you're going towards Summer Shade. As soon as you come across the parkway, there's a shell. And right beside that shell, amen, you'll see the sign. It says, He's Alive Community Church. Amen. It's a red building. It used to be the barbecue place. Amen. No barbecue so here. The Holy Ghost, amen, is here. Amen. But we'd like you to come be with us tonight at 6 o'clock. May God bless you from He's Alive Community Church is our prayers. money, no fortune or fame, no dignitaries calling out my name, no invitations from the presidential staff, but this I know for sure, there's one thing I do have, I got victory, I got victory, I got victory.